On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. Oh, Carol, that just looks beautiful. Can't nobody decorate a Christmas shoe tree like you, sister. Well, Mama's always said I had the touch when it comes to decorating of any kind. I just can't help it. But I'm thinking I need some turquoise converse to go right around here, though. You know, turquoise is so the in Christmas color this year. I didn't know that, Carol, but I do know we got a bunch of youngins coming by today from the Douglas Fir Middle School to take a tour and drop off some shoe donations. Maybe there'll be a pair of those turquoise colored ones in the bunch. One can only hope. Yule, what about peacock feathers? You think peacock feathers would make it really pop? Peacocks are so in this year. They're the new turtle doves. Sounds good to me, sister, but you're the expert, not me. Have you seen Todd running around here this morning? Yes, and running was exactly what he was doing. He just gets so excited when we start getting everything set up for the Christmas. Flying around here like a chicken with its head cut off and talking 90 to nothing. He almost knocked my tree over, and then he really would have been running from me. <laughs> oh, Carol, he can't help himself. I love it, though. He's always had the heart of a child when it comes to Christmas. Yeah, whatever. On the second day of Christmas, my true love sent to me two turquoise peacocks. Yule, Carol, look at here. We just had another big drop off of shoes. Twelve baskets full, just like the disciples had. Maybe we'll get enough shoes for 5,000 folks this year, and this will be the leftovers we can add to next year. Maybe so. Todd? And this is only the first day of the season. If they keep coming in like this, we're going to be a shoe-in to win the award for the business to get the most donations. Todd, you know that's not why we collect all these shoes for folks at Christmas. Whether we get 5,000 pairs or just one, it's all about making a difference in somebody's life. Showing them love by taking care of one of their basic needs, having a good pair of shoes. Yeah, I know, I know, but the Chamber of Commerce gives away that big trophy and all. We might as well win it as soon as anybody else. Now, Todd. All right, Yule. It's kind of neat you mentioned that story from the Bible, though. You know, Jesus was preaching all those folks and realized they were getting powerful hungry, so he fed them. He showed them he cared about them by providing for a basic need they had, and he shared the truth with them. I never thought about it before, but that's kind of what we do with the shoes every year. We use the shoes to help folks and show we care about them, and then we can tell them about Jesus and how much he loves them. you <sighs> That's exactly right. I may have a way with the decorating, but you're just so elephant with your words. Carol... I'm going to run and get the rest of the baskets for you. Todd, you knock my tray over and I'm going to knock you. Students, students, stay together now. Don't wander off. Stay with the group. We'll be starting our tour shortly. Well, good morning. You must be Principal Poinsettia. I am. Welcome to Yule Todd and Carol's Christmas Shoe Tree Farm. I'm Yule, and over there's my brother Todd and my sister Carol. We're just so happy to have all y'all visiting with us today. Oh, we are delighted to be here, Yule, and I just love the name of your place. What clever social media marketing for Christmas. I can't wait to check in here on Facebook. <laughs> well, you don't have to check in here. We ain't all fancy like that. But we do have a guest book you can sign, and if you want to put a picture of your face in it, well, that's just fine with me. <laughs> okay, um, well, I'd like to introduce you to the students I brought today. They are part of an extracurricular group at Douglas Fir Middle School called Secret Service. They try to come up with different service projects to do around the school, sort of random acts of kindness, if you will. And the most beautiful part is that they never tell anyone who does the work. They keep it all a secret, on the down low, as the students might say. Well, ain't that just awesome. I tell you what, we got a few service projects around this place they can help out with, and I ain't keeping that a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Yule, you are such a stitch. As I said on the phone, I wanted to bring this group out to look around and see firsthand how a business like yours can truly impact the community with a project like your shoe tree. 
I think it ties in with our group's mission perfectly, since the people who receive the shoes never know who brought them here to give away. Well, bless my brickle britches. You just made my day. I'll go ahead and take y'all on the tour, and then you're welcome to stick around as long as you like. Perfect! Yule, thank you so much! Students, listen up! Carol, I'm about to take this group of young'uns on a tour of the farm. You got things under control? Sure thing. Have fun! So then Holly told Candy that Ginger told Angel that Mary was not going to come to Nativity Grace's spend the night party because Ivy totally forgot to tell her about it when Hope invited them to go to the movie last week. Um, are you the girls with that group from Douglas Fir Middle School? Yes, ma'am, we are. Where are they? Well, they just left to go. Oh, Christmas tree, Jill! We're lost! They left us here all by ourselves! What are we going to do? I gotta text Holly and tell her, does your phone have GPS? Chill out, Celeste. We're not out in the woods. We're at a Christmas tree farm, and I can totally see our group walking up that path over there. Yeah, no worries, girls. I was just about to say they were taking a little tour of the place with my brother. Carol of the Bells, thank goodness. Hey, how'd you know my name? Most folks call me Christmas Carol, because I just love singing Christmas carols. But I kind of like the ring of Carol of the Bells, too. <laughs> get it? Ring the bells? <laughs> Woo! I got it when I ain't even trying to get it. So where are we again? Celeste, whatever, Space Cadet. We're at Yule, Todd, and Carol's Christmas shoe tree farm. And I'm Carol, and Yule and Todd are my brothers. It's part of the Christmas project we're doing for Secret Service. Shh! Silent night, Jill! It's a secret! Hello, I may not know where we are, but I know we're not supposed to tell anybody what we're doing. Silver bells. Can you please remind me why we are best friends? <gasps> Jingle jangle, Jill! That totally hurts my feelings! Why don't you two work this out while you catch up to your group? I don't want y'all to get in trouble or nothing. Let me holler at Yule. Yule! You got some stragglers here. I'm sending them your way. Thanks, Miss Christmas Carol. Hey, you guys. Where you been? Principal Poinsettia sent me to get you. Come on. Have a holly jolly Christmas. So anyway, when Hope got home from the movie, she called Noelle, and Noelle told her that Nativity Grace didn't know what Holly was talking about. I know, right? Decorate your tree with shoes. Listen at your Christmas carol. Pretty as a partridge singing in a pear tree. Guess what? We just got a call from the TV station, and Action News 12 is coming out to do a story on the shoe tree, so I need to get ready. Ready? For what? You don't ever get ready for anything. Well, if that party newscaster Sylvia Bells is coming out to interview me, I gotta put on the dog. When she gets a load of me, she might start singing a Christmas carol herself. All I want for Christmas is a date with Todd. Ha <laughs> ha mercy, boy. Well, while you're putting on the dog, why don't you turn on the radio so we can have some Christmas music playing? That way it'll be all festive when she gets here. Sure thing. All right, guys, while you all are getting set up, I'll go try to find the owners. Ready? Where's my trailer? Sylvia, I was thinking you wouldn't need the trailer since we're only three blocks from the station. Plus the fact that you spent two hours getting ready before we left. Ready? You don't understand! Being in the public eye every day is so demanding on one's appearance, and I need protection from these harsh winter elements. My hair! It's already going flat, and my lips are getting chapped. I can't work under these conditions. Okay, Sylvia, I'll see what I can do. And that brings us back to where we started. Well, hello there. Excuse me for just a minute. Hello, sir. I'm Rudy Rains with Action News 12. We're here to do a human interest story about your Christmas tree shoe drive. Well, great to meet you, Rudy. My name is Yule Loggins, and what we actually do here is a Christmas shoe tree drive. My sister Carol is in charge of the shoe tree, and she can get a little testy when people don't get it right. Thanks for the heads up. I'll keep that in mind. We're just tickled pink, or should I say red and green, that y'all want to put us on TV. The pleasure is ours, Yule. Let me introduce you to our correspondent, Sylvia Bells. 
Oh, I know who she is. We watch your new show every night. Sylvia, this is Mr. Yule Loggins. Mr. Loggins, I am overjoyed to make your acquaintance and overwhelmed to be able to bring the story of your Christmas shoe drive to the masses. Well, that's just great, Miss Bills, but we don't give away molasses, just shoes. Mmm, but come to think of it, that might not be a bad idea. Shoes and molasses. Bet nobody's done that before. Hey, everybody! Heavens to Betsy, brother! What in the world? This is just a little something I call styling and profiling. Want to look my best for little Miss Sylvia Bales? This is my brother Todd, I think. Todd, this is Mr. Rudy Rains and Miss Sylvia Bells. Well, lights, camera, action. I'm ready to roll them. I'm sure obliged to meet y'all. Miss Bells, we watch you every night. So I've heard. Rudy, Gloria and I are going to the van until you're ready to start filming. I need to refresh. Great. We'll be ready in a few minutes. Yule, I'll need to get some information from you about this project. How it got started, how long it's been going, how many shoes you normally give away each year, etc. Well... I was just about to tell the kids all about that. I can tell you how it all got started. I don't like to brag, but it was kind of my brainchild. Oh, here we go. Rudy, it's like this. All my life, I've been a barefoot kind of guy. Never cared about wearing shoes. And any time I got a pair from my mama and daddy or anybody else, I'd just give them away. People were always so grateful to get them, and I always felt great giving them. Well, one day, I said to myself, Todd, which is what I call myself, what if you could get other folks to give up their shoes to bless those less fortunate? It was like a million-watt light bulb went off in my head. And when I told Yule and Carol about it, well, the rest is history. Actually, I wrote a little song about it that Yule and Carol and I perform here at the farm every year around this time. Seems like the perfect moment for it. Yule, you ready? Goodness knows. You got them cameras going? Cause you won't want to miss this. Carol, come on, girl. Where are you at? We gonna do a little singing and bring the banjo. Carol Loggins, what on earth, girl? Gotta look my best if I'm gonna be on TV. Hit it, Todd. So then Noelle called Candy, as if, and told her that Nativity Grace's mom had said that the spin the night party was going to be postponed till Ivy got back from her vacation. Girls, you must try to keep up. You just missed the most wonderful performance by our host, Yule, Todd, and Carol. Oh, we're so sorry, Principal Poinsettia. I'm trying to keep up. Deck the halls, Jill. What are you trying to say? We could sing it again. Oh, no! <laughs> that would be asking way too much of you. As much as we would love that, Todd, we really need to get some footage of Yule talking to the kids about the Christmas shoe treat, and then we'll grab some individual interviews. Would somebody text Sylvia and tell her we're ready? Yeah, let's move it along. These feathers are itching me to death. Rudy, I was thinking me and Seal might ought to team up kind of like co-hosts today, since I'm all dressed up. And she and I seem to have such chemistry together and all. Hold it right there, Todd Loggins. If anybody's gonna co-host with Sylvia Bells, it's gonna be me. I'm the one in charge of the shoe tree anyways. Now listen here, Carol. You know good and well I'm the best-looking thing in this family. Can you just imagine how this face will look on camera? Hey, hey, you guys. No need to quarrel over this. We'll interview both of you before we leave. But I think we'd better let Sylvia handle this on her own. She might feel a little intimidated by the, uh, enormous presence you both have. You got a point. Well, I mean, I you got a step. point. I, I understand. I, understood, I get understood. Well, we are pretty electric. Sylvia, let's open with you introducing Yule, Todd, and Carol with a little background info on the tree farm. Then we'll get some shots of Yule with the kids. Okay, Rudy, how's my hair? Is it big enough? Gloria, I need more lip gloss. I can totally feel my lips starting to freeze. In three, two, one, action. Hello, people. I'm Sylvia Bells, going where the action is with Action News 12, keeping you up to date and in the know about everything Christmas this season. Today, the action is here at Yule Todd and Carol Loggins' Christmas Tree Farm. But wait, 
It's not her ordinary old tree farm, for the Loggins have incorporated the spirit of giving, characteristic of this most wonderful time of year, into the very fabric of their business. Experiencing it for myself today has left me utterly speechless. Uh... However, I must press through my emotions and unabashedly spread the word about this most incredible lend a helping hand, or should I say shoe, to your fellow man, Mission. You, Loggins, tell us about your shoe tree farm. Well... Right after I tell everyone that this farm not only sells trees, they give away shoes to those in need. They even decorate one of the trees here with shoes. Hence, the shoe tree. As a glorious beacon representing the tokens of love and faith they share with others. Uh, yeah. I'd love to tell y'all about the shoe tree and why we... And we were all ecstatic with anticipation to hear all about it, Yule. But before we do, our Action News 12 team has a spectacular Christmas surprise for everyone. We've invited hip-hop sensations Scissor, Paper, and Tape to perform their smash hit Christmas Rappin'. I think it's a perfect fit for our shoe tree story. Come on out, guys! Yeah, I just love that song. And cut. Great job, guys. Thanks again for coming out to do this for us. No problem, dude. Glad to be here, man. It's all good, bro. We got some shoes to donate, too. Perfect. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you supporting us this way. You know, y'all are one of my favorite groups. Yes, we're so blessed that y'all want to donate some shoes. Come on over here and I'll get y'all fixed up. Rudy, I'm exhausted. That monologue completely drained me. I need a few minutes in the van to regroup. Gloria, follow. Sure, Syl. Take five. We'll shoot Yule with the kids now. Yule, I'd like to get you explaining to the kids why you guys do what you do here. All right, Rudy. That sounds good. You ready, Yule? Just relax. Here we go. In three... Two. One. This tree farm has been in our family for many, many years. And when Todd and Carol and I got old enough to start taking over, I began feeling the Lord speaking to me about using it for more than just selling trees. The idea he gave me goes right along with the song we just heard. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news. I started thinking about how we could use shoes to help spread the story of Jesus right here at our farm. You know, there are a lot of stories in the Bible that talk about feet and shoes. <laughs> now, I know that might sound kind of funny, but when you think about it, the Lord has a lot to say about that in his word. Can anybody tell me another place in the Bible we read about feet or shoes? One time in Sunday school, we studied the armor of God, and I remember our teacher saying that part of the armor includes the shoes of the gospel of peace. I wasn't really sure what he was talking about, though. That's okay. I think I can help you with that. The verse goes right along with the one I shared. What's your name, son? Joey. Well, Joey, I'm proud of you for being so bold and sharing that with us. The verse you mentioned is Ephesians 6.15, and it talks about getting ready to tell others about Jesus. To get ready, you gotta put on your shoes. The shoes help us carry the good news. The shoes we hang on and all around the tree over there help us carry the good news to every person who comes here to get a pair. They see that we care about them, because we're giving them something they really need. We get to help them with a basic need. And while they're here, we can tell them about Jesus. One of my favorite shoe stories in the Bible is when Moses was leading the children of Israel through the desert, and it says their shoes never wore out. That has always amazed me. Yep, the Lord knew they needed those shoes to keep going, and there weren't any stores in the desert for them to buy some, so he made their shoes last as long as they needed them. Every time they looked at their feet, they were reminded that the Lord was taking care of them. You know, I like to think that every time someone looks at a pair of shoes they got here, they remember that we told them about Jesus and how much he loves and cares for them. I like the story about Jesus washing the disciples' feet. I love that one too, Jill. What a beautiful story about love and humility. You gotta really humble yourself to wash someone's feet. It's a very special way to show someone how much you care about them. And the thing is, 
the person who gets their feet washed feels just as humbled as the person doing the washing. My dad took shoes to kids in an orphanage last year. He told me that when they gave them the shoes, he and his team washed the kids' feet before they put the socks and the shoes on them. That is amazing. Thank you for telling us about that, Jill. It's just incredible how the Lord can use anything, even a pair of shoes, to show his great love. At Christmas time, we talk about the shepherds and the wise men all going to visit baby Jesus. They were the first ones to see him and realize who he was. So I'm thinking they must have been the first beautiful feet to share the good news. The good news that Jesus loves us. He showed us by coming to earth, being born in an old stable, traveling all over the place telling folks about the love of God, and then going to that cross for us so that we could have eternal life. I just feel like the most important thing that I can do in my life, in my work, in everything, is to let my feet do what God made them to do. Walk and tell everybody I see about Jesus and his love. Well, I'll bet you kids are ready for a little break. So, Carol, why don't you and Todd take them to the snack bar and let them get a little something-something? That sounds good. I think I could use a something myself. Come on, y'all. That was so great, Yule. Thanks, Rudy. It really means a lot that you guys would take the time to come out and care enough to do a story on us. Sure gonna help us get the word out this year, too. I'm excited to think about how many folks will be able to help. I am, too. You've actually helped me today, and I didn't come for a pair of shoes. Your story really impacted me, though. I normally just cover the stories and go on with business as usual, but today was different. How's that, Rudy? Well, I guess it's that I can see how passionate you are about what you're doing. You genuinely care about people. You truly love them. In the world I live in, that's really refreshing to see. I appreciate you saying that, Rudy. What you're seeing and feeling is the love of the Lord. If there's anything good in me, it's only because of him. I try to love him the best I can and let him love people through me. He loves you, Rudy, and it's no accident that you're here today. I was just thinking the same thing. Well, if you got a few minutes, we could take a little walk. I'd like that. Hey guys, Yula's going to show me around the farm. We'll be back shortly. So then Holly called Ivy and told her that Candy overheard her mom tell Nativity Grace's mom that the whole spend the night party was really supposed to be a surprise birthday party for me up on the housetop. Isn't that awesome? You knew all the time, didn't you? Well, anyway, so now you can help me plan my surprise birthday party. Um, okay. Well, I wonder where you went off to. No telling. Well, this has just been the most delightful day. Thank you all so much. We must be getting back to school, but please tell your brother how much we appreciate the time he took with the children today. Oh, Principal Poinsettia, here I am. It has been a joy to spend the day with y'all. Let's do it again next year. That would be wonderful. <gasps> Students! Rudy, my hair is only going to stay this big for about five more minutes, so let's get going. Sure, Sylvia. Before the kids leave, let's end the segment with a big group shot and everyone waving and saying, Merry Christmas. All right, everyone, gather around Sylvia. Is this okay? How about this? Gloria, where's my lip gloss? In three, two, one. And so we find ourselves saying so long to you, Todd, Carol, and their Christmas shoe tree for now. But please come by and visit them any time during the Christmas season. You're sure to be overwhelmed by the charm and charisma of the Loggins family. Shoe donations begin today and will continue throughout the holidays. So please feel free to drop off or pick up shoes any time during their hours of operation listed on the screen. I, for one, have felt laced with love, and my soul forever touched by my experience here today. So I have decided to donate my shoes as well. Truly, you can't stop these shoes from sharing the good news. For Action News 12, I am Sylvia Bells. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! 
And cut. Great job, everybody. That's a wrap. Don't you mean a Christmas wrap?